Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with another box. I have my Bone and Steel from Wolf and Time for March 2022. This is a quarterly box and it is a Celtic Norse, like more geared towards masculine, but the time that I got it before, it gave me a amazing Kambaba Jasper sphere. And so I'm like, mm, I'm going to get back into that. So, so I got the other box or well, not the next box, but I decided to uh, subscribe to this, which, okay, let me start over. It's not a subscription. It's a one-time thing. Like you have to go back in each time and order it. So it's not like if you, you know, subscribe and it comes all the time. So anyways, um, so hi, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa. If you're new to my channel, um, on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxing. So, <laughs> let's get into the box. So, again, it comes in like a, um, a non-discreet box, and then there is a little sticker that says Bone and Steel right there, and it also says Fragile. Fragile. Fragile is French. Okay. Move some things over, my banana. <laughs> Put this back up there. Okay. All right. And on top we've got some flower sticker. This is such a huge box. Okay. Okay. Just making sure it's not like in the way. It's kind of in the way. <laughs> All right. We've got some paper. Oh, it's lovely. The paper is on like handmade paper. I don't know. If you guys can see that, it's like, it's it's handmade paper. Oh, this is the other reason why I, um, because I have not gotten every box since I got that first one. Let me rearrange myself here. Oh, and since I stood up, hey guys, this is one of my shirts in my shop. It says, shit happens, meditation helps. Um, it's purple. It does come in other colors in my shop. Um, but the reason that I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this box is because the theme is the seed of Freya. And I love me some Freya. So it says, spring is a time to welcome the seeds of nature back into the forest, to plant the harvest that is yet to come and to celebrate longer days of light and warmth. Freya as a fertility goddess of prosperity and vegetation helps spread these seeds as well as love, protection, and many other things that you will be learning about in this month's quarterly box. You will be connecting deeper to the Norse goddess to your own path of wisdom and magic, and you will have some adventure along the way. Okay. All right, right on top we have an oracle card. That is mine, and there's the back of the card. Oh, I can't read it. Um, I don't know what the card is called, but on, underneath it, it says reflection. So we will put that guy right there. And it says, um, Yurgrisil, Y-G-G-D-R-A-S-I-L, Oracle card. This unique card comes from the Yggdrasil Norse Divination Cards deck by the Icelandic artist, ooh, I'm going to butcher this, uh, Hooker Haldorsson and Gunhildr Hawks... Mm-hmm, that's how you say that. There are 81 cards viewed from the Icelandic... As a true community, you were chosen one intuitively to help you on your you, your own unique path and to guide you with insight through meditation. Very nice. And then we have Goddess Freya, and there's just um, Book of Shadows page with some information. All right. Then, okay, we will not look at that. There's um, always like a little card from them that talks about their different boxes. So that's that. Put that over there. All right. And then we have our Freya artwork. Oh my God, there's kitty kitties on it. <laughs> Look out, cool. So my cat, who actually lives with my youngest son now, who's just turned 21. God, I'm so old, y'all. Anyways, um... She lives, her name is Freya, and she lives with him because, um, anyways, I couldn't bring her with me when I moved into my, with my boyfriend, like, whatever, and then, of course, I moved back out. We're still together, if you guys don't know about all that, but anyways, <laughs> everything's cool. We didn't, I didn't move out because of him, um, but, oh, shit, I'm gonna knock everything over, um, 
So anyways, my son kept Freya, and then now I have my dog Taco, so, you know, I can't have a cat, but anyways. But now my son, like, doesn't want to give her up, so. Anyways, <laughs> Freya artwork. And it says, see the Freya art print. But look at the little kitty kitties on the bottom. How cute. This original watercolor painting was created using a shamanic ritual in offering to Freya, and depicts her adding her special seder to the flowers for fertility spreading the seeds of the sunflowers it also has her two familiar companions the magical gray cats that pull her chariot and her name in old futhark runes which means lady so that's the top it's hard to see but it's right up there you can see the art process and ritual on the youtube channel wolf in time to deeper connect to its meanings and to freya oh and then this is our freya um grimoire page Original 5x7 Grimmer page is full of information about the goddess, pulled from multiple literary sources, and compiled a well-rounded view of Freya, her association with magic, and how you can better know her in your path, excuse me, in your life and on your path. Very nice. I don't know what to get first. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There's like a big box in here. I can only imagine what it is. Okay, so we have some little doohickey here. Oh, I wonder if my boyfriend would like this. Holy moly. Maybe I should keep it. That's cool. It's a freaking, like, blade thing. And it comes in this little um, leather sheath. How neat. Something smells good in there. Okay. Cool. Dude. I bet that, that sucker's sharp, too. Okay. Let's, let's figure this out. No way. Is it obsidian? No, just kidding. <laughs> There's something obsidian in here, apparently. Okay, travel foraging knife. Oh, I'm going to put this with my foraging bag. Ah, okay. Your new travel knife has a necklace sheath. I can't put that around my neck. <laughs> has a necklace sheath. And can be, or are they just saying you could put it on a necklace? Okay. Um... Where'd it go? And can be used for multiple tasks. We have added it for your adventures into nature to forge what the seeds of nature have blossomed for you. You can also use it to carve magical symbols, create with as a, or create with, comma, as a bowling or use when you are in need of it out in the wilds of the forest. I cannot, I cannot read ever, like ever guys, right? <laughs> Please be very careful with it. It's very sharp. Yes, ma'am. It is very sharp. That's cool as hell. Okay. And then we've got um, an incense stick. Oh, God. That smells like a man. Mmm. It smells like a man's cologne. Mmm. That smells good. Okay. Rainy Days Resin Incense Sticks. What? For smudging and cleansing. That's all it says. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. <laughs> Mom's gonna burn that shit in a minute. Oh, okay. So I saw the world, the, the world, the word obsidian and here it is. So we had a little box that's got some cool moss stuff in it. Oh, I could make something with that. Shit, I, I swear, I always have these grandiose um, plans and stuff, and then life happens. You know, I just need to not work. <laughs> if I could just not work, I could get all my shit done. Oh my gosh. So, look at this. It, this is not going to translate well. It is like a wolf head. Is this really obsidian? Okay, it's on a necklace dealy. It's just like a rope. Is this obsidian? Um, anyways, okay. <laughs> and it looks, it's like a wolf head, I guess? And it's made into like a tooth type thing. God, I hope this translates, because it's pretty cool looking. Okay, so it says ice obsidian wolf tooth. The wolf is the sacred animal of the Viking and of the Norse gods, both being the protector and the destroyer. 
They are the keeper of balance, of the balance in nature and in power. We just decided to give you both, oh my god, okay, let me start over. We decided to give you both the magic of the wolf and the element of natural ice obsidian crystal in one beautifully carved pendant. It is on an adjustable cord and as you put it in the light, you will see its cold glow within. Ice obsidian is produced when felsic lava extruded from a volcano cools rapidly with minimal crystal growth. It represents protection, blocking negative psychic attack, and absorbs negative energy. It also shows loyalty to your path, bravery, and wisdom. Oh my, that's cool as hell, y'all. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know where to put this because I don't want to mess it up. Okay, now we have a little sachet bag thingamajigger. Alright, what do we got? Okay, I I cannot pour this out because I will make a mess. So first off, it looks like there's some lavender inside the bag. And then we have a tea light candle. And then we have um, some sort of like different seeds in this bag. All right. That lavender smells good. Okay. Seed of Freya Nature Offering. Oh, fun. In the cotton bag, you will find all the parts you need for the included ritual, Seed of Freya Nature Offering. I'm having a hard time closing this back up. I don't want to lose all the. Okay. Um, Seed of Freya Nature Offering. Using the tea light, the blank antler pieces. What? Shed naturally. Those are antler pieces? What the fuck? Where are the antler pieces? I'm missing some. Oh, no, there's antler pieces inside here. Oh, my gosh. They're just like little um, little pieces. Uh, antler pieces, which were shed naturally. The ritual scroll, which I have right here. The sunflower seeds and the red clover flower seeds. Okay, got it. Yeah, I guess that was sunflower seeds, wasn't it? You will be creating a nature practice of foraging, gathering, planting, and offering to the goddess Freya. Printed on handmade seeded paper from Naples. 50% recycled. Please plant this when you are done and water daily for wildflowers. Stop your face. What? This paper has seeds in it and you can plant it to make wildflowers. Who thought this up? That is so cool. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this though because like I like to keep my paperwork because um because I'll be like what was that again you know so anyways and then they gave us this um Cita Freya nature offering and it tells you what you need and it gives you like a whole ritual with wording and everything wonderful freaking wonderful I love it I'm excited okay so I think I can put this over here because I don't think I need any of that. And I'm I'm really excited because there's this big box and I can only imagine what's in here. Like I'm super fucking Okay. 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 You guys know what this has to be. <laughs> okay, hold on, Lisa. Start over. Let me put this let me put this box over here. Oh my god, I think it's exclusive, y'all. Uh, oh my god, guys. Uh, look at this Freya statue. And on the back, it actually says Bone and Steel. It's exclusive. <gasps> okay, actually, you want to see her back? Because she's got, like, intricate stuff here oh my god she's amazing okay and then we've got rune symbols down here I'm assuming that's her name again oh my god she's gorgeous yay okay statue of Freya this one-of-a-kind statue of the goddess is made of high-grade resin and finished 
to replicate steel. It was designed by Wolf and Time for the Bone and Steel collection and crafted to represent both the inner and outer beauty of her as a deity through your soul. You will see her cat companions, her sword and shield, her cloak of feathers that transform her, her long golden hair, her Nordic features, and her stance of strength and grace. Her aura is ancient and wise with infinite sight and deep knowledge of the magical world. She is ready to protect you as a warrior, give you nurturing love, and give you guidance on your path as you grow with the seeds of light. Oh my God, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She's gonna go in my living room. She has to, like she needs to be like displayed for all to see. Oh, okay. So that y'all is our bone and steel for March, 2022. So excited. I've got to get the next one. And it says next box is available to reserve for the June shipment. And sorry, I'm getting all like, my nose is getting all itchy. The next shipment in June is um, the, the theme is fate. That sounds great. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, I'm sticking with y'all. I'm sticking with the bone and steel because it's good stuff. And I really need to get their Luna Lux box because it's great too. I just, you know, you can only afford so many boxes, right? <laughs> so I have to pick and choose and I kind of like sometimes will subscribe to one for a while and then I'll switch it up and do another one. So but then I get upset whenever I switch it because then the box that I switched out of will be something amazing like this. So anyways, guys, what a great box. I'm super freaking excited. Um, what do y'all think? Of course, like she's gorgeous. This obsidian wolf tooth thing. Oh my God. And then um, the, the little foraging knife. Holy shit, like this, uh, I'm so pleased. Thank you, Wolf and Time, for bringing amazing things. So if you guys wouldn't mind leaving me a comment below what you think of this box, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. I just uh, tipped over 700 subscribers. Thank you, guys. So if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you, guys. I really appreciate you. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, which is my next goal, um, I'll be doing a, a giveaway and I usually do lots of stuff. So stay tuned for that. And I appreciate y'all. So until next time, guys, I will link my last bone and steel, which I've only had one other one, but I'll link it right here so you guys can see it. And um, until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.